installment of AA Computers and Technology. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Silicon Power 120GB SATA 3 Solid State Drive. This is the S60 model and today we're going to be benchmarking this, putting it in a PC, testing it out um, because I really want to see what the speeds on this thing are. It's a budget SSD. Uh, currently it's selling for 42 well at least I bought it for $42 on Amazon.com. It might have changed by now because it does that all the time. The prices on Amazon.com never stay um, constant for some reason. Like yesterday it was $44, uh, the day before that was $43, but when I bought it, it was $42 on Amazon.com. So stick around, but first I did see something interesting today when I was sitting in the library on my computer. And I, I'm not sure if you guys saw my other video about the uh, overclocking docking station, but I was on ASUS's Facebook page. I don't know why, I was just bored. And I went on ASUS's Facebook page and something looked really familiar. Now ASUS has announced the release of a water-cooled docking station. I think this is actually really funny because just a couple months ago in the episode of What We Want, I came up with this exact same idea. Now whether they ripped it off me, uh, I have no idea. I can't really be sure. This video didn't get that many views, so I doubt it. But I just think it's cool that we predicted something uh, that actually came true. So just wanted to bring that up. Now let's get back to that solid state drive. Obviously, before I do anything else, we're going to have to unbox this thing first, but before I completely destroy the packaging, let's go ahead and take a look at the package itself. So first, you can see on the side that states it comes with a three-year warranty, silent. Obviously, this is a solid state drive, so it should be silent. Power saving, yes, it uses less power than a traditional hard drive, and shockproof because you don't have a rotating platter in there. Um, if we go to the back... You can see that it does actually provide us with kind of a sketchy uh, data transfer rate. It doesn't even say how fast uh, the read or write speeds are. It just says that it's faster than a traditional hard drive. So that's not really helpful. We're going to have to go into the benchmark and check out how fast it really is. And yes, I do have the specs up on my computer right here. So we'll compare the uh, benchmark to the actual website specifications of this drive. All right, so nothing really on the package. I'm really anxious to see what actually is in here. Um, the thing is so sleek that it doesn't even look like they could fit mounting screws in here. So let's go ahead and tear this thing open. It looks like it's going to be an absolute pain. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to be really aggressive. That always works. All right. And I think we should just be able to tear this apart. This is not hassle-free packaging, obviously. That would have been nice. Maybe I can just slide it out. Oh, I could just slide it out. And you can see that <laughs> there's I got through the directions. That's hilarious that they didn't even you know bother to put paper directions in here. They just slapped it on the back of these cards. Um, really, we don't need that to be honest. And then if I can get the actual solid state drive out, oh my goodness, this is a pain in the rear end. Oh, that was frustrating. Ta-da! Here it is, the Silicon Power solid state drive. Well, this is the first time I've been able to handle the solid state drive out of the packaging, and let me just say it doesn't feel too bad for a budget solid state drive. The only concern I really have is the fact that it's really light, and that's either a good thing or a bad thing, uh, depending on how you look at it. I personally see it as a good thing because this is going in a laptop that I carry around on my back every single day, and I would prefer that said laptop be lighter. So I'm personally liking the fact that it's really, really light. Um, it looks like it's encased in some sort of metal, probably aluminum, and it's not flimsy at all. Um, out of the factory, there are no cosmetic blemishes or anything like that. And really, everything looks good as far as the uh, cosmetic status of this solid state drive goes. You can see the SATA power and data transfer connectors right there. And really, I think that's all I'm going to touch on um, as far as looks go for this solid state drive. So let's go ahead, break out the ASUS gaming laptop, and benchmark this thing on Crystal Disk. Before we get started, let's check out what the drive read and write speeds are listed as on the Silicon Power website and the Amazon webpage. So on the Silicon Power website, the read speed is listed at 520 megabytes per second and the write speed is listed as 460 megabytes per second and that's using Crystal Disk. Now on the Amazon webpage, the specs are a bit more optimistic. We are reading our read speeds are listed at 550 megabytes per second while our write speeds are a little bit lower at 500 megabytes per second. Now let's go ahead and open up Crystal Disk and see if those numbers come close to our benchmark.
Alright, so the drive is finally installed in the testing platform. This is the ASUS G75 Gaming PC. It's equipped with a Core i7 running at 2.3 GHz, 4 cores. We have 12 GB of DDR3 RAM, and of course this thing is equipped with SATA 3 ports. Now I want to clear something up. On the internet, there's a lot of debate over this, um, whether or not the drive is equipped with a Sandforce controller or a Fission 8 based controller. And I've read all the comments online, I've read all the forums, I've done a lot of research on this, and it appears that this drive, contrary to what the drive's website says, um, this thing is actually equipped with the Fission 8 based controller. Now, we'll pick whichever test that the controller likes better um, in Crystal Disk Mark, either the uh, uh, Q32T1 test or we'll just use the original sequential um, read and write test. But whichever one scores higher, we're going to take. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I already have the drive formatted and we can begin the benchmark. According to the Silicon Power website, these are the exact same parameters they use to test out the drive, so we're going to use these. I'm going to go ahead and start the test. We're going to run all of them right now. Wow, okay, so the benchmark is done, and check out these huge discrepancies between the read and the write speeds. Now, the write speeds didn't even come close to what was advertised, and I see this all the time when I benchmark cheaper solid state drives. Um, for some reason, there's just a massive discrepancy between the read and write speeds. So, um, that was expected, uh, but I was hoping that wouldn't be an issue, but unfortunately it is. I'm still way faster than any traditional hard drive, but I'm still kind of disappointed that it didn't match up with the specs on the website or Amazon's website for that matter. And because they specified write speeds up to 460 megabytes per second, and that, my friends, is not even close to 460 megabytes per second. If you couldn't tell already, I'm really just focusing on the Q32T1 test, but you can also see the original sequential read and write test as well. Of course, I'm going to throw it up there on the screen. I'm not going to cut it out because that would just be silly. Uh, so you guys can take a look at that as well, but I'm just focusing on the Q32T1 test. So our read speeds did come close to the advertised read speeds. I'm happy about that. That's great. That's going to improve the performance of my PC a lot um, because I'm running a 5,200 RPM hard drive in there, and this is probably 10 times the speed of that drive. Uh, so read speeds did come close, that's pretty good. Um, but once again, really disappointed with the write speeds, not really sure what happened there, didn't even come close to the advertised write speed. So that is extremely disappointing, even though it's still faster than a traditional hard drive. So based on those results, would I recommend this drive? Well, yes, actually. It provides a great price to performance ratio. It's an absolutely great drive for under $50. It's a lot faster than a traditional hard drive. But if you're looking for something a little bit more perform or performance oriented, uh, you might want to look at um, maybe a more expensive drive such as the Samsung Evo line. Um, but once again, a great drive for under 50 bucks or maybe Sometime in the future, it might actually reach under 40 bucks because once again, when I bought it, it was $42, pretty close to reaching uh, that $39 mark. So take a look at this. It's on Amazon.com or I'll include, the, uh, I'll include the link in the description so you guys can check this out. All right, so that's going to be about it on this overview of the Silicon Power 2.5 inch 120 gigabyte S60 solid state drive. And I cannot wait to install this in my school laptop because it's going to yield a massive performance increase. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can post a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe and don't forget to like this video. I will see you in the next installment of AA Computers and Technology. Thanks for watching.